Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing a new feature that we recently added to AWS IAM Access Analyzer. First of all, let's start with what is IAM Access Analyzer? So it's an AWS service that guides you towards using least privilege from a security standpoint by providing capabilities to set, verify, and refine permissions. IAM Access Analyzer uses provable security to analyze external access and validate that your policies match your specified corporate security standards. Before jumping into a demo of the new feature, let's take a moment to explain what this new feature does. So we've added the ability for IAM Access Analyzer to continuously monitor roles and users looking for permissions that are granted but not actually used. Central security teams can take advantage of a dashboard view that will help them to find the accounts that can most benefit from a review of these unused entities. The new feature includes the ability to monitor for unused IAM roles, unused access keys for IAM users, unused passwords for IAM users, as well as unused services and actions for active IAM roles and users. After creating an analyzer, you can review findings generated by an organization-wide or account-specific analyzer and then presumably take action by removing permissions that you don't need. You can create analyzers and analyze findings from the AWS Management Console, the AWS Command Line Interface, or CLI, as well as using the AWS API. This feature is priced based on the number of IAM roles analyzed each month and is available in all AWS regions where IAM is available. For more information, please refer to the links at the bottom of this video. Okay, time for our demo. Let's see how this new feature looks in the AWS Management Console. First thing to do is to make sure that you are logged into an AWS account. Okay, so we're gonna search for IAM in the IAM Management Console search box. When you hover over IAM like this, you can see IAM Access Analyzer, and you can click on it. But instead, I'm gonna click IAM and go to IAM Access Analyzer through the main IAM dashboard, but you can do it either way. Okay, click IAM. Then find Access Analyzer on the left side under Access Reports. You can see that there is a shortcut to go directly to the new unused access feature. But before, as before, I'm gonna to go to the long way and click on the Access Analyzer first. All right, so now you're on the IAM Access Analyzer dashboard. There are, of course, other features in IAM Access Analyzer that are beyond the scope of this video, but please feel free to use them for your security needs. If you haven't used Access Analyzer before, or if you have no current analyzers, like in my case, then you'll see an orange Create Analyzer button on the screen. I'm gonna go into the Unused Access section and create an analyzer from there instead. As you can see, there are no unused access analyzers set up and obviously no findings from any analyzers either. Click the Create Analyzer button. Now, because we came here through the unused access section, the unused access analysis option has been pre-selected and we're gonna leave it so. If, for example, we had clicked on the more generic orange Create Analyzer button that we saw before, this wouldn't be the case, and you would need to change the selection to unused access analysis. Now, a default name has been given to this analyzer, and we're going to leave it as is, but feel free to change it when you run this in your own AWS account. Also, by default, the look back period is set to 90 days, but this is something you can change from a range of just one day to as many as 180 days. Below that, you can see that you can select to run an analysis on your entire AWS organization or just on one account. We're gonna leave it at the default of AWS organization. Below that, under service access, the text here simply tells you that when you enable IAM Access Analyzer, a service link role is created that is used by IAM Access Analyzer to allow it to perform the analysis. Optionally, you can check this role and the permissions by clicking this View Permissions Details link, or by finding the role in the IAM dashboard and looking at it there. In production, down here below, I recommend that you add tags. But for this demo, we're gonna skip that. 
click Create Analyzer. You might need to wait a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when the findings have been generated. All right, so we waited a few minutes, and as you can see, there are a list of findings now. You may need to click this refresh button to see your findings. Also, I made sure to add a variety of roles, permissions, and so forth to this AWS account just so that I'd be able to demonstrate this feature. And as you can see, there are quite a few findings. Now, each finding has a finding identifier, a finding type, which can be either an unused role, a password, an access key, or an unused permission that is associated with an active role. Now, you can filter the findings by active, archive, or result. You can also filter by any of these properties here. Now, once created, and until you delete it, the analyzer will run continuously. And if and when a particular finding is no longer applicable, the finding status will automatically be changed to resolved. Now you can also manually archive a finding like this by clicking this check button, clicking actions, and clicking archive. You would do this if the particular finding is not applicable. For example, that you are aware of the fact that some entity has not been used for a while and it falls within your security rules. Now let's take a look at the detail for just one finding. We can do that by clicking on this hyperlink. As you could see, a new tab in my browser opened with information about that finding. In this case, the finding is for an IAM user that has not been used in a long time. We can optionally click on this ARN to go to this user and potentially take further action. Now, as far as pricing, IAM Access Analyzer is priced based on how many users and or roles are scanned in an account. Please see the links in the video for more information. And for more information on the IAM Access Analyzer, please go to the IAM Access Analyzer homepage listed, or see the IAM Access Analyzer user guide linked in the description below. Hope this update has been helpful, and thanks for watching.